For the last few weeks, we have watched the elite of the Democratic Party fight it out. Last night, that ended with Lovely Warren joining me in the real race for mayor. For today begins the real campaign to improve the lives of all Rochesterians. Last night, the Democrats spoke loud and clear. They voted overwhelmingly for a change in city politics. Where well, this might have been unseen by many, this is what I've been hearing around the city. And change is what I've been talking about. This change needs to start with us standing together to develop our economy from the ground up. Over the next six weeks, my campaign will present a new deal for the people of Rochester that does just that. To this, to the supporters of Mr. Richards, I say join us. Mr. Richards has been a competent trustee of the city, but now it's time to move in another direction. One where people, not projects, are to focus. To those that supported the Richards campaign, I think you will find that if it comes to LGBT rights, public safety, or union issues, I have stood with you on these same issues my entire life. To the supporters of Lovely Warren, I say congratulations. The Democratic primary is over, though. You have made your voice heard, and it's clear we share a common goal of creating a new direction for Rochester. Now is the time to ask yourself where you want to go. Our campaign for a new deal for Rochester puts more money into our schools, more officers onto our streets, and focuses our economic priorities on our neighborhoods. I offer a vision for the future of Rochester that includes everyone. I also want to say that I stand with Governor Cuomo and reiterate his call for an end to fusion voting in New York State. If anything, last night's voters made it clear that the error of backroom deals like those that make, uh, uh, that make party lines of trading, uh, trading commodities needs to end. Thank you very much for coming out. Are there any questions? Well, my first impression was uh, the voters of Rochester have spoken, and they've asked for a change. Um, and I'm not as surprised as everyone else was because I feel the way that you get a vote is by saying, Hi, my name is. And Lovely Warren was out there. Lovely Warren had people out there. Lovely Warren had lots of volunteers out there. And Tom did mailings. And I think that you can overcome a huge money difference by shaking enough people's hands. Um, I have a fairly comprehensive platform and have for a while. Um, and uh, among, among other things, you know, I have, call, uh, uh, I have called for uh, Shepard to resign. His last day will be my first day. And uh, because we are not safer. You talk to anyone in any of the neighborhoods, we're not safer. We have a 30 minute response time to problems in uh, the northeast of Rochester. It has become break-in central. How many shootings have we had on the west side? There are roughly every single day seven gunshots in the city, according to Shot Tracker. So, are we really safer? Are we really richer? Poverty is at 31 and a half percent. Where are the jobs? How are we going to make them? I've had a plan. I have a plan. Very comprehensive, focusing on actually creating jobs for Rochesterians using our resources that we're presently using, like purchasing and our development money, to instead of putting buildings up, focus on putting people to work. And I also feel that the real problem behind that, behind crime, behind, uh, po behind crime and behind our schools is poverty. And until we do something about that, we're not going to be able to change the dynamics. So I'm going to continue doing what I do, which is cha campaigning to make Rochester better.